Back in January, I made this video about why I sold some of my Bitcoin around $49,000 per coin. At that time, Bitcoin had already crashed from a high of $69,000. And in that video, I explained why I thought that the Bitcoin crash might be continuing into 2022. And in case you haven't watched that video yet, be sure to watch it after watching this video. A link is in the video description. Of course, it doesn't always work out this way, but I happen to be right on that particular thesis. Now, with Bitcoin trading under $30,000, I'm gonna talk about why I'm slowly buying back some of my Bitcoin, right after. I am not a financial advisor. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Learn to invest like a wolf at your own risk. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Wolves of Investing. My name is Donnie Nguyen and I'm the founder of Wolves of Investing. If you're new, I talk about stocks, SPACs, Bitcoin, options, and anything on my mind related to investing. If you wanna learn how to achieve financial freedom through investing, be sure to click on that subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't yet. And please remember to drop a like on this video if you enjoy it, as it truly helps out the channel. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So as most of you know, I've been actively investing in Bitcoin since 2017. Back then, Bitcoin reached a peak of just under $20,000 before crashing down to $3,000. I started actively investing in Bitcoin during that crash when Bitcoin dropped to around $14,000 and I continued averaging in all the way down to $3,000. And then the 2020 and 2021 bull market happened and I had a minimum price target of $100,000 before I was planning to take any of my profits off of Bitcoin, which is why I didn't sell any even when it peaked at $69,000. Now, as most of you know, I'm also a stock investor. And I noticed that many of my growth stocks started tanking due to inflation fears and the fear of the Fed raising rates and starting quantitative tightening. And so I pieced together the puzzle that Bitcoin was behaving very similarly to growth stocks. So that's when I decided that it was a good time to at least take all of my profits off the table and ride Bitcoin on the house's money. That trade happened to work out well for me as Bitcoin is now trading under $30,000. Even though I favor Bitcoin over the rest of the cryptocurrencies, I am not a Bitcoin maximalist. I do own other coins like Ethereum. So because of my profit taking on Bitcoin and other cryptos, all of the Bitcoin and crypto I owned went down to a cost basis of zero. So even if Bitcoin were to go to zero, I wouldn't have lost any of my initial investment. With that in mind, it made it a lot easier for me to dip my toes back into Bitcoin and other cryptos. Now I'm not saying this is the bottom, and I'm not gonna try to only buy the bottom, but I do think that under $30,000 is a reasonable level to buy back into Bitcoin. If you're a long-term investor, my long-term ballpark price target on Bitcoin in the next five years or so is $400,000. So I think that the risk reward seems worth it to buy at this level. My price target is based on the Bitcoin market cap getting to around the same market cap of gold. Other investors like Ray Dalio think that Bitcoin may only get to the market cap of gold that's used as a currency, which would be only around $200,000 per coin. And investors on Kathy Wood's team make a case for a $1 million Bitcoin based on other use cases. And of course, Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger think that Bitcoin will go to zero. No one knows for sure where Bitcoin will be in five plus years, but only time will tell. Just like in 2017, when I first started actively buying Bitcoin as an investment, 
I didn't know where the bottom would be. If I did, I wouldn't have started buying at $14,000. In hindsight, I would have put all the money in at $3,000. Again, I don't have a crystal ball and I don't know where the bottom is gonna be this time around. So my plan right now, just like in 2017, is to slowly average into Bitcoin as long as it remains under $30,000. Could it go to $20,000? Of course it can. $10,000? Of course it can too. But I'm not gonna bet on that. In the last Bitcoin bear market that started in 2017, Bitcoin dropped 85% from its previous all-time highs. If the same thing were to occur now, that would mean a low of around $10,000. However, the previous Bitcoin bull market pattern was already broken this time around. If the same cycle were in play, I would have expected Bitcoin to peak over $200,000 by now, which obviously it did not do. So in my opinion, there's a good chance that Bitcoin breaks its old pattern again and doesn't fall off a cliff and drop 85% this time around. Especially since more institutions have started adopting Bitcoin. That being said, this is crypto and anything is possible in the wild, wild west world of crypto. Although there are many potential catalysts that could take Bitcoin higher in the near term, from Fidelity announcing that they will allow Bitcoin in retirement accounts, to more countries adopting Bitcoin as El Salvador has already done, the ultimate catalyst, in my opinion, won't happen until 2024, which is the next Bitcoin halving event that happens every four years. The halving event started the previous Bitcoin bull markets, so I fully expect that to be the ultimate catalyst for the next big run. So for now, I think it's a good time to ease back into Bitcoin at this price level or below. All right, so thank you for making it to the end of my video. If you want more insight into my portfolios or if you wanna just support the channel, check out my Patreon. A link is in the video description. And as always, a huge thank you to the awesome patrons that have already joined. And also, be sure to check out my free Discord to talk about SPACs, Bitcoin, stocks, and other investments with other members of the Wolves of Investing community. A link is also in the video description. All right, so let me know what you think about Bitcoin. Is now a good time to buy? Drop me a line in the comments. Be sure to leave a like on this video before leaving. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.